Hello everybody, this is Charlie with charlandwoodcraft.com. Uh, today we're going to talk a little bit about an online G-code generator. Uh, when you purchase the Triquetra touch plate, it comes with access to the Triquetra user page where you can download the Excel spreadsheet that is the G-code generator. Unfortunately, I've had a couple of people that uh, are having trouble accessing that spreadsheet because they don't have the right software so what I've done is I've created an online version that essentially does exactly the same thing as the latest version of the Gco generator so to get to that you'll go to the website here that you see on the page and if you look up here there's a link for G online Gco generator now when you click on that if you're not signed in as a user you'll have to sign in just like you would for the track with your users page here uh, but once you get signed in you click on that it's going to take you to this page right here which is an online g-code generator it takes it a moment to load and there we have it now then this is a, a little quirky I'll admit but uh, it does work uh, if you put your mouse over this uh, window here and scroll you'll scroll the spreadsheet if you put it outside then you'll scroll the page so keep that in mind and that works with a mouse wheel so to get started you're gonna click on the navigation menu button right here and it's gonna take you to the main navigation menu your first place you're gonna to wanna to go is the settings page and on this page you're going to select your units of, uh, for travel, which is either going to be in inches or millimeters. Uh, choose one for inches, two for millimeters. And you'll put that right in here. After you've got that in there, then you'll drop down right here to the inches. Well, it, actually, it's in inches now. And if, you put it up, if you put a two up here, it'll be in millimeters. So we're going to stick with inches. Okay, then you're going to add your z-axis thickness, which if you look at the diagram here, it shows you the z-axis is right here, measuring the cutout portion. And I'm just, I've got it in here right now as 0.8 inches. It, can, it needs to be whatever your touch plate is. And then you'll do the x-axis width, which is across here, and the z-axis width, which is front to back. Unfortunately, you'll have to put these in every time that you use this generator online. Uh, if you have the spreadsheet, you won't have to. You can just put it in once and save your changes. Once you've got that in there, go back to the navigation menu and then choose wherever you want to go, whether you want to do inch mode, millimeter mode, Mach 3 script, set an alternate XY0 location, fine tuning, stepper calibration, and you can even read the revision history. Uh, just for simplicity, we're going to go to the inch mode since we have our settings page set up in inches. And then scroll down from over here off of the spreadsheet, otherwise you scroll the whole spreadsheet. Uh, you may want to zoom out on your web page. If you zoom in too far, and I'll show you there, uh, you can actually get zoomed in so far that you can't see the whole thing. So to get to zoom out on your web page, you hold your control key down and hit the minus button on your keyboard and that'll get you zoomed out so that you can see everything okay so from here you're going to put your desired feed rate and right now it's set for three I'm going to change that to a five which I find is works pretty well uh, you don't want to go much over five in inches uh, it moves too fast if you do you're going to put your bit diameter in right now it's set for a uh, uh, 0.625, let's change that to a 1 8 inch bit, so 0.125. And the Z axis, X axis, and y axis, y axis are already set for you right here. And those come from the settings page, so if you need to change those, go back to the navigation menu and choose the setting, settings page. Once you've got your feed rate and your bit diameter set, then you just copy this out into a text document. That's where it gets a little bit on the tricky side, but once you figured it, once you get it, it's easy. Uh, you can click on the last cell or the first cell, either way. And then what you want to do is you can hold your shift key down your keyboard and click on the top cell to select it all at once. Or uh, you can click on 
the bottom cell if you like, hold your control key down and hit your up arrow. Excuse me, the shift key down and hit your up arrow. And you'll select it one line at a time until you get to the top. If you go too far, just click your down arrow to go back to where you need to be. Once you have all this selected like that, you have to hit the control key and the C key at the same time. And then you're going to see these little marching ants going around the box. That indicates that it's all selected. Now that you have it copied to the clipboard, you need to go to your desktop and create a new file. So I'm going to minimize this uh, browser on my desktop. Uh, I've got a new text document right here. Or you can just right click and say new and text document. So just open up your blank text document, right click and paste. There's the G code. Now you'll just choose file, save as, and give it a name and we'll call this a one underscore eight inch bit and then save the file. And now you have a G code file to will zero your bit with a, a one eighth inch bit. So you just take that, load that into your post processor and run it and you'll get your zero done. It's, it's pretty much that easy. So I'll go back to our browser. Now if you want to do this, if you want, you can go back to the main menu here. And if you want to do a Mach 3 script, <clears throat> it's essentially the same. Uh, uh, the script is quite a bit longer, but you'll set your feed rate right here. Again, I wouldn't go higher than five uh, in the inch mode. And then over here you'll go to the first line. And then if you want to click right here in this little sidebar, you can drag your window down till you get to the bottom of the Mach 3 script, which is right there. Hold shift and click on that one. And now you have it all selected. Then you'll do the same thing again with uh, the Control C to copy create a new text document, control V to paste it in there, or right click and paste, whatever you want to do. Save that file, give it the name you like, and then import that into your Mach 3 machine. Uh, there's a video on the website that shows how to actually import that into Mach 3, so I won't go into that detail right here. So I hope this helps for those people that don't have Excel or are having trouble with the G-Code generator. So thanks for watching.